Like I did in the last video, I pre-painted a couple of these pieces that are just gonna be too difficult to get into. So this will be the top here, and I can paint this a little bit later. But it's gonna set down like so. I'll glue and tack this into place. So what I'm doing here is that the back of this cabinet is all going to be flush with the wall. So this is going to be the front here and there's just a lip all the way around it. I'm using solid lumber for the base. There's no particular reason other than I don't have enough plywood. I'm gonna attach this to the underside using pocket screws. I'll drill those holes now. I'll assemble this box just with glue and brads. Nothing fancy here. This is all gonna get covered up with trim. Okay, time to make drawers. I'm making these drawers out of quarter inch plywood. I'll assemble them by cutting rabbits along the edges. See if I can hold this together so I can get a good measurement for the bottoms. I'm gonna drill the holes for the drawer pulls now. I think it's gonna be a lot easier than once the box is assembled. On these kind of small drawers and boxes, I find usually just a few rubber bands is plenty to clamp it together. So what I'm looking for here is just to make sure that all of these corner seams are together. There's no gaps. And then what I can do is just put some weight on this part. And it should be square, but I'll double check. Yeah. By the way, if you enjoy making tiny drawers, and really, who doesn't, then <laughs> You might want to consider taking my weekend workshop course. Lots of little drawers. In fact, you get to make, see that project over there? You get to make 73 drawers. I mean, what could be more fun than that? Oh, and this one over here too. Look at all these drawers. <laughs> They're all made just like this one. There you go, that's my call to action. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you where, where to go. It's the theweekendworkshop.com. I need to work on those, those CTAs. Okay. I'll let these dry. I'm gonna go get some lunch. I don't know why I told you that. Like, you could you care less whether I'm gonna eat lunch now or not. But it is something to do while I'm waiting for this glue to dry. And then I can pick the glue off my fingers too. <laughs> Sometimes I get comments from people who are, are like, just get to the point, make the project, stop yammering on and on. So I, I, I've been doing that on some projects. I, some, some projects are like yammer free. This isn't one of them. One thing I wanna do is drill a hole in the back of each of these drawer openings. Sometimes these drawers get a little difficult to pull out because of the suction in there. I'm gonna assemble all of these frames using pocket screws. What I've done on these plans is kind of lay out a diagram of where I wanna drill those pocket holes. The things that I, thing I wanna be aware of is to keep them a little off 
to the one side because I need to make a rabbit on the inside of each of these frames to hold the panels and I don't want that bit to run into those screws. I want to show you how this kind of rabbiting bit for your router works. It comes with a bearing on here that runs along the edge of the piece that you want to cut the rabbit on. And that bearing is removable with a hex wrench. And it comes with all these different size bearings so I can remove them. So in this case I want my rabbit to be about a 3 8 of an inch so I'm going to just slide this one on like that and then put this screw back in place. Then you can set the base to whatever depth you want it. I'm gonna be putting in quarter inch panels, so I'm gonna be that deep, maybe a little bit deeper. Where the mirror drops in, I need to square up these corners since I won't be able to cut curved corners on the mirror. Looks good. So tomorrow I need to order the mirror for that and while that is being taken care of, I can cut out these caps for the sides. It's almost done.